the reactions of halogenaricanes with ammonia the reactions of halogenaricanes with ammonia the halogenaricane is heated with the concentrated solution of ammonia in ethanol the reaction is carried out in a sealed tube you couldn't heat the mixture under reflux because the ammonia would simply escape up the condenser as a gas here we have examples we have a bromoethane reacting with ammonia we have iodopropane which is reacting with ammonia and we have a methyl chloropropane which is reacting with ammonia let us have the mechanism for substitution of primary halide we have a two reagent ammonia and bromoethane ammonia is a nucleophile and bromoethane is a substrate we have a negative charge on bromine and we have a positive charge on carbon the positive charge of carbon is attracting electrons from ammonia and they form a dative covalent bond between nitrogen and carbon and the electrons of this bond are going to repel the electrons between carbon and bromine and this forms a bromide ion and ammonium ion what is ammonium ion an ammonium ion is any ion in which nitrogen has formed the four single covalent bonds because of the positive charge on nitrogen in ammonium ion the hydrogens on nitrogen are very labile and any base in the medium like ammonia can subtract hydrogen from the ammonium ion and this forms a namine molecule which is more stable compared to the ammonium ion and the an ammonium ion in a mixture this reaction is happening in two steps and the first step is the slow step so it is the rate determining step now the mechanism of this reaction will be SN2 because the two chemical species are involved in the formation of the ammonium ion reaction of tertiary halogenaricanes and ammonia the mechanism is similar with the one of primary halide but this one happens in three steps the first step is the self ionization of tertiary alkyl halide which gives a carbocation and a chloride ion the positive charge on carbon in the carbocation will attract electrons from nitrogen of ammonia and forms a dative covalent bond and the ammonium ion the ammonium ion formed is not stable because of positive charge on a very electronegative element which is nitrogen and this uh, makes the hydrogens around this nitrogen very by and then an ammonia is going to donate electrons to one of these hydrogens and these electrons repair electrons of the bond between nitrogen and the hydrogen to form a lone pair on nitrogen and this produces an amine molecule and ammonium ion the reaction is happening in three steps but the first step is the one which is the slower step because it is a slower step it is the rated determining step and then uh, we are going to look at how many chemical species are involved in the formation of the carbocation we see that it is only one chemical species so the mechanism here is the SN1 or unimolecular necrophilic substitution reaction of second hydrogenaricans and ammonia the second hydrogenaricans undergo two types of mechanism sn1 and sn2 let us start with the sn2 mechanism ammonia molecule will attack necrophilically on the carbon which is electron deficient and the electrons will repair the electrons of the bond between the carbon and the iodine and this will reproduce an ammonium ion and the iodide ion ammonium ion is stabilized by another molecule of ammonia which will act as a base and subtract one of hydrogen from ammonium ion and the electrons of the bond between hydrogen and nitrogen are all donated to the nitrogen atom which will produce an amine molecule and ammonium ion the reaction is happening in two steps because the first one is the slower step uh, there are two chemical species in, involved in this step and it is SN2 mechanism secondary alkyl halides undergo self ionization and produce carbocation the carbocation formed is going to attract electron from ammonia to form an ammonium ion which is not stable and the ammonium ion is stabilized by the ammonia molecule which subtract one of hydrogens from the ion and it produces an amine molecule and ammonium ion 
This reaction happens in uh, three steps, and the first step is the slower step. And because this is slower than all the other steps, this one is the rate determining step, and it is involving only one chemical species. So the name of this mechanism will be SN1 mechanism. The fourth reaction of halogenalkanes is the reaction of halogenalkanes with cyanide ions. If a halogenalkane is heated under reflux with a solution of sodium or potassium cyanide in ethanol, the halogen is replaced by a cyanide group and a nitrile molecule is produced. A nitrile is an organic compound containing a cyanide group. Here we have examples. Bromoethane reacting with potassium cyanide to give a nitrile. Iodopropane reacting with sodium cyanide to give a nitrile. And chloroethylpropane reacting with potassium cyanide to give a nitrile molecule. Let us have a mechanisms. Start from mechanisms for substitution of primary alkyl halide. Here we have two chemical species, cyanide ion and the bromoethane. Cyanide is a nickel bromoethane is a substrate. On bromoethane, we have a partial negative charge on bromine and a partial positive charge on carbon. And because of the positive charge on carbon, it is going to attract electrons from cyanide ion and it forms a dative covalent bond. But the electrons are going to repel the other electrons which were existing between the carbon and the bromine, which will form a bromide ion and a nitrile molecule. Because this reaction is involving collisions of two chemical species in a slow step, which is the only step in this reaction, we are going to have an SN2 mechanism or bimolecular nucleophilic substitution. The second example is the reaction of tertiary alkyl halides and the cyanide ions. Here we have a tertiary alkyl halide, which is going to undergo self-ionization and produces a carbocation and the chloride ions. The carbocation is going to attract electrons from the cyanide group and it forms a nitrile molecule. The action is happening in two steps. The first step is slow, while the second step is faster. So, because we always consider the slower step as the rate determining step, here the chemical species which are involved in the formation of carbocation is only the substrate. So this is an SN1 reaction or unimolecular nucleophilic substitution. Here we have a reaction of second radionalkanes and cyanide ions. Here is the question for you. What is the mechanism are they going to follow? SN1 or SN2? Feel free to pause the video and try it on your paper after you compare your answers with what we have found here in the video. Secondary halogenalkanes will follow two types of mechanisms, SN1 and SN2. The favored one will depend on the conditions of solvent and the, the type of nucleophile. Let us start with SN2. The nucleophile is going to attack nucleophilic on the carbon and the electrons are going to repel the electrons of the bond between the carbon and the iodine, which will form a niodide and the nitrile molecule. Because this is the only step in this mechanism, and it is involving two chemical species to form a, carb a molecule. So this is a SN2 mechanism or bimolecular nucleophilic substitution. Or you can try the SN1 mechanism, where the second radical halide undergoes self-ionization to produce a carbocation, and this carbocation is going to attract electrons from the cyanide ion to form a nitrile molecule. The reaction happens in two steps, and the first step is the slow step, while the second step is the first step. So, because we consider the slow step as the rate determining step, so, and it is involving only one chemical species, which is a substrate, it is an SN1 mechanism. SN1 versus SN2 reactions. SN1, nucleophilic substitution of the first order, which is unimolecular. It involves tertiary and secondary halides. 
SN2. It stands for necrophilic substitution of the second order. It is bimolecular. It may take place with the primary and secondary kill halides. The rate of reaction for SN1 is proportional to the concentration of alkyl halides only, while the rate of SN2 depends on the concentration of both alkyl halides and the necrophilic reagent. For secondary alkyl halides, SN1 is favored by a polarprotic solvent, example water, methanol, and others, while SN2 is favored by a polarprotic solvent, example dimethyl sulfoxide, acetone, etc. For secondary alkyl halides, SN2 is favored by a strong nucleophile, while SN1 is favored by a weak nucleophile. What is a, pra, a polarprotic solvent? Polarprotic solvents are the solvent which can hydrogen bond other molecules, while polarprotic solvents they are the solvents which cannot hydrogen bond other molecules. Comparing the SN1 and the SN2 reactions, starting from the right row. In SN1, only the substrate is involved in the rate determining step. In SN2, both substrate and nucleophiles are involved in the rate determining step. The big barrier. In SN1, carbocation stability. In SN2, steric hindrance. The reactivity of alkyl halides. In SN1, tertiary alkyl halides are more reactive than secondary alkyl halides very very reactive than in primary kill halides. In SN2, primary kill halides are more reactive than secondary kill halides, very very reactive than tertiary kill halides. Necrophile. A weak necrophile favors the SN1 mechanism, while a strong necrophile favors an SN2 mechanism. The solvent. Poraprotic solvent favors SN1 mechanism while polar aprotic solvent favors SN2 mechanism. Stereochemistry. During SN1 mechanism, there is a mixture of, re of retention and inversion stereochemistry. But in SN2, there is only inversion of stereochemistry. Here you try this activity and you feel free to pause the video for you to write the questions. Thank you.